I'm just wondering why is it that killing application almost never works in Linux? I mean, uh, what do you mean? Like, it's way easier in Linux than Windows, right? Like, uh, frozen ones? Uh, HTOP, I guess you could use. Uh, but you could always bind, like, uh, I, I, I take it you're probably a Windows user, like me, probably doing, like, something like sys. You could use HTOP. But you're not going to like this that much. I mean, because you could just go, you know what? Let's let's find something. Um, Brave. Does Brave not in here? Now I probably need to launch this as like a pseudo HTOP. Sometimes a pseudo grabs more. Brave. Did I have Brave open? Oh, Resolve's open. Oh, well, that's why I can't find it. Resolve. Yeah. So you can find whatever's taking the most CPU, and then you can do F9 to kill. Ah. And then you can ch choose SIG term for termination. This tries to close it down uh, cleanly. Or you can go down to SIG kill, I think it is. Wait, where's SIG kill? I never do it through HTOP, but SIG, SIG kill, which is a kill signal of 9. Which is, is, is a good way to do it, I guess. Uh, or, here's the way I like to do it. So, you got HTOP, which is good. Let me close Resolve. And let's jump back to here. So, probably the way I like to kill applications, like, let's just open up... Uh, what do we have? Let's say we have Lutris open. That's a good one. All right, so we have Lutris over there. And let's say we want to kill that and Lutris is just locked up. You're like, ah, crap, I need to kill Lutris. You could do kill Lutris or kill all Lutris. And that, that could kill it. But let's say Lutris is really locked up and kill all is not working. And it's like this. You're like, okay, Lutris, you're going to die for sure. So... What we can do with low Lutris, well, let's just come over here, kill all, and then say, kill it, like with extreme prejudice. <laughs> so you add the dash nine uh, Lutris command, and then you got that. You also have pkill, which is another way to kill processes, uh, TLDR pkill. And this shows you kind of a different method. It's a little bit easier to find and kill all of them. Uh, associated with that name. So a p kill dash nine and then the process name, it'll just kill everything that matches that process, which is great. You can even specify older, newer, lots of options here through the command line. Now you might be thinking, Titus, oh my God, why do all these Linux people always use the terminal? One, because if you're in Linux, you got to learn to love the terminal. The terminal is your friend. If you don't like it and you're like, this is awful, I hate the terminal, I'd say Linux is probably not for you. <laughs> but let's just say you're still still in that room. You're like, I just need to learn how to kill a process, but I don't want to use HTOP. I don't want to use pkill or kill all. Uh, there's a lot of different uh, tools out there to accomplish the same thing. I think Stacer has a really good interface. We're probably not going to be able to find that in this package. Uh, let's see Nix packages real fast. I bet Nix has it. Nix has everything. Nix is just awesome. Let's go Stacer, I think is what the name is. No. Let's go Stacer uh, Linux. Let's see. Free now, free forever. No credit card. What in the world is this? It's not what I was looking for. Oh, this is a PPA. So this is Debian based. Uh, I wonder if they have something else. I bet it. Uh, oh, no. There's an RPM package and an app image. Uh, let's just do the app image. I bet you the RPM would fail anyways. And I don't feel like installing it because I'm not going to use it. <laughs> but you can use Stacer on anything. 
Um, uh, ch mod. Let's let's just add this. Let's say you wanted some fanciness in your life. We're just gonna go Stacer. All right. So now we got more of a Windows aesthetic for killing stuff. And then you can kind of look at your startup applications, what starts up, what does not. So right now I have Flameshot and Synergy working on startup. If you want to clean your, your start menu, that stuff, blah, blah, blah. Right here is your processes. And this is a really good way to break down your processes, what exactly is using what. You can see Stacer's using 7%. We also have some uh, stuff happening with Brave and the processes it's running. Uh, you even have, you can even uninstall programs from Stacer. And if you want like some cool little graphs, it has that. You can manage hosts and other things like that. Oh, this is the host file. I was like, what am I doing here? Oh, this is when I was hacking Genshin Impact. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that out loud. Okay. Uh, but yes, you guys get the point. There's just, there's a ton of ways to do it. And I want, you know, no matter what operating system you're doing, just remember that anything can be accomplished. If you can think it up, someone's already done it. It's just a question of how many people and how many different ways have they done it. Uh, you know, usually I'd say for every time you think of a solution, there's probably 19 other solutions. And trying to pick which one's the right one is the difference between a, a good technician and a bad technician.